Hello, my sweet, darling, deducing detectives. Welcome to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. It is that time again. It's time for us to hop into a Sherlock Holmes game. And I gotta be honest, the trailer for this game didn't convince me. The trailer made me feel a little weird. Like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know how this game is gonna go. But look, it's a Sherlock Holmes game. I'll play it. I'll play it. I'm ready. I'm down. And I hope that you are too. Let's hop into a new game, shall we? Oh my, look at all this fanciness. Okay, let's do it. Boop. Oh. Keen detective. Take on the dynamic life of the famous detective. A formidable test of your de Oh no. Look. If any of you have uh, ever watched me play one of these games before, you see Ah, probably this one. We are not a master sleuth, let's be real. <laughs> you can always switch the current level of difficulty in your gameplay options. I wonder how this applies. I'm trying to think of a Sherlock game in the past where there's been any kind of a difficulty to set or a way in which difficulty would apply to the game. Huh. This is interesting. Okay. I'm gonna be a keen detective. <laughs> because, uh, Master Sleuth, I am not. So, pray tell. Oh man, are we gonna get involved in some deadliest game stuff? Who's this? Oh my god. Oh, I do apologize. Am I disturbing you? No, please. Do come in. Are you Mrs. supposed to be Watson? My name is Miss Alice de Bouvier. I'm Mr. Holmes' new neighbor. Oh. I didn't have the pleasure to... What?! Uh, I am Dr. John Watson. Could we provide you with any assistance? Uh, I swear to God they get younger every Watson. game. What? What is I'm... happening? <laughs> then, what is this about? Uh, that child standing sniffling behind her. Get rid of him, Watson. But he is shivering with cold. And he is upset. Aww. What happened to him? Sweet Little baby. tongue knocked at the wrong door. Oh. Crying out loud. Oh, boy, come in. Warm yourself by the fire. Can I offer you a cup of tea, Mr. Bouvier? Well, Maybe a smooch I... on your sweet face. It is not as though we are disturbing you know who, are we? I suppose not. Since you are our new neighbor, it is perhaps better that you know what he's like. You're starting to worry me. Well, Mr. Holmes is relapsing. This illness that he has seizes him when he finds himself with nothing to do. He becomes completely asocial. And alas, this is a very difficult, medically incurable case. Now this must stay between us. Of course, I understand. How very sad. But there is a cure, <laughs> if only a temporary one. <laughs> a thrilling inquiry. <laughs> Most certainly. Wow. If he refuses this one, then his condition will worsen. Oh, I am still here, you know. I didn't fall out of the window. Very well, then. Thank you, miss. She looked baffled for that entire situation. Was like, hey, I have this kid that I found. By the way, I'm also uh, your neighbor. 
And then it turned into this weird dialogue where she just looked lost. Like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go, I guess. <laughs> Um, but the very sarcastic, oh yes, this sounds, sounds very sad. That sounds like a real condition. Cracking me up. Anyway, you're adorable. Let's help you out. What's this? Oh, it's this mechanic from the last game. Where we can, uh, look into what's going on. Build a character portrait by paying attention to the details and determining their meaning. Conjunctivitis. Recent weeping. Wait, what? Uh... Wait, what? Oh, wait! Oh, man! I hit the wrong thing. It's just figuring it all out for me. I don't understand what that, like, replacing recycle sign means. Is it supposed to be, oh, it could be one or the other, and we're supposed to deduce which one we think it is? Hmm. Tom is eight years old. His clothes are well-worn and have multiple patches neatly applied. Tom's parents are concerned for his well-being. His pale skin indicates he's suffering from malnutrition. He looks sad and has red eyes. He's been weeping very recently. Tom's malformation could have been caused by his brother's poor, or his mother's poor nutrition during his pregnancy. <laughs> it's like, okay. Why are you here, now, sweetheart? Me, boy, what brings you here? It's... It's my father, sir. He's missing. I... I don't know what to do. Okay, okay look. Sorry. I know that we're busy talking with this sweet... This sweet, sweet, tender, precious boy. But... It's weird to me that... Like, Frogwares makes all of these games. Right? And some of the mechanics follow through into the next game. But I swear to God, every single game, Sherlock and Watson look totally different. It's just weird to me. And they're also de-aging. This is like... Sherlock Button. Benjamin Holmes. I don't know. I'm trying to make a Benjamin Button joke and it's not working. Alright, so what's his name? Oh, what's his he's name? precious boy. George Hurst, sir. Okay. He's missing, missing you say? Eh? And what do the police say? The police, they don't believe me. They say he's just abandoned me, but that's a lie. Wait, I don't remember how this mechanic works. And when was the last time you saw him? Three weeks ago. He left for a new job, but this time he was acting a bit strange and angry. Strange? In what way? He said to me, son... I'm out on a special job. Don't you dare move from here. I think something went wrong. Three weeks? That's a long time. Well, every day I thought he would show up. And anyway, I, I can look after myself. Oh. What do you mean, sir? Nothing. Just I was kidding. digressing. Oh, did I just heck it up Very well. for real? Your address, please, Tom. 12 Dorset Street, the first floor, door E. It's in Whitechapel, sir. But I ain't got no money to pay. Who asked for money, Tom? Your case seems to be the very medicine I need. I'll meet you there shortly. Oh, thank you, sir. What? <sighs> okay. What's going on in here? Investigate the disappearance of Tom's father, George Hurst. Explore his hovel on 12 Dorset Street, room E. These are our two places. This is our evidence. He lives in Whitechapel. He's a sweet, precious boy of eight years old. He suffered from malnutrition for many years. He's from a poor family. It's clear that he's loved. His parents have done all they can for him. Okay. Uh, oh, what's going on? Buddy. We need to help Tom find his father, Holmes. Yeah, I know. I know that. I know that. Just wanted to say hi, you know. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. 
Okay, so the look of this, actually the, the house looks the same, pretty much. Oh my, but I have a balcony now. What the heck? <coughs> oh my, being outside, I must have allergies. Should probably close this door. Um, okay. Oh, no. I do not need a costume. Not today. Okay. Uh, That's more of my archives. Watson's room. Watson, you're cool with me just peeking around in here, right? You ain't got nothing to hide, huh? Watson documents our adventures in here. Great. Our adventures. I want to say hi to the puppy. Hello. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Agreed. Okay, I guess we better. I guess we better go. My analysis table. It's useful for my work. Okay. Well, all right. Let's go to Wick Apple. What on earth could I be allergic to? I don't remember sneezing last time I was out on that balcony. Maybe. Hmm. Could it be hay fever? Oh, we're here. These streets are too narrow for the cab. I'll have to walk. Nonsense. Okay. Why am I dre- You know what? Never mind. <laughs> uh. Dorset Street. That's where he lives, yeah? Twelve Dorset Street on the first floor. Room E. Thirteen. Twelve. Room E. A, B, C. See what we got here. The Strand Magazine. Huh. So that's why you came to see me. Oh, my name's on there. Tom probably reads at night. Objects marked with the exclamation point symbol are to be used further into the investigation. Oh, like that thing. Okay. A collection of worn out and second hand books. George Hurst was providing his son with the best education that he could afford. Father bought all those books for me. He didn't tell me, but I know that he pawned his coat for them. Aww. Food's running low. It's already three weeks since George Hurst's disappearance. Hmm. Well, I can see the preparations for peasant soup, a clever concoction for somebody with apparently no culinary skills. Are you talking about the child? My mother, sir, she died when I was very young. My father told me what she was like, but that's all I have. I'm sorry, Tom. My mother left me when I was very young, too. What about this? Where's the street London paid? Rents payable strictly in advance. Paid. Not paid. Hurst covered his bills ahead of time, thus providing Tom with security and sustenance. Hmm. But the most but the newest one isn't paid because he disappeared. Hmm. This thing again? Sir, I, huh. I, I, so that's why you came to see me. What's going on in here? 
No. Anything on this? No. Okay. We gotta use that later. Apparently. Oh, this. Reads at night. Can I? Mm. Okay. I hope you'll find my father soon. All right, that's a mechanic from the last one too. Glue, probably taken from a wall. The old Tabard Pub, North Street. The roof leaks all the time. Father used to fix it. George Hurst's work was varied. He was evidently a hard-working and valuable hand. Let's do it. Oop. What's up here? Bodies. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Well, I guess I'll have to take that candle, huh? Give me that. Give me this. BRB, child. And when I get back, we're gonna find your pappy. Great. What's this? Oh, what's this? A doodle. No. Hello there, George. I know that it's difficult for you to find a job, and you need to feed and clothe your son, so I've attached to this letter a pub leaflet. I've heard that there's a fellow there who is offering a special job. Maybe it'll help you. I hope so. What's this? Oh. Tabard Pub. The Bills. Hearst's house. Just some old things. Oh. We're all done? Alright, well... Bye! Okay. Um, okay. Find out more information about the special job at the Tabard Pub. Alright, I've done it. Apparently. The old Tabard Pub? Did you hear anything about it from your father, Tom? My father's a regular, but he's not a drinker, sir. It's close by on North Street. Okay. Please, sir, find my father. Oh, you're so precious. Okay, I'm going to. I will. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm at the house. Okay, so I have to. Okay. Let's go to the pub. What about Watson? What's Watson up to? Where's my partner in crime? Or rather, my partner in solving crime. Oh. What's all this? Oh. Am I hearing weird shit? Somebody doing weird shit back here? Nothing? No cluesies? Really? What the heck are y'all doing? What is this? Anyway. I need to find the pub. That's Dorset. What did he say? Where did he say it was? Little Tabard Pub. Located on North Street. Dorset and North. 13. Okay, so it's like right past. Okay, I see. This is Dorset. Okay, so now this up here should be north. Oh, good time, Mr. What's Holmes? up? Well, if it isn't young Wiggins, and I see you found yourself a job. If you can call it that, I hate it. But if, if you've got any proper work for me, I just might be in need of your assistance later. Wait here. <laughs> I like that this kid considers snooping on people to be proper work. You're a prince, Wiggins. You're a prince! Okay. This has got to be North Street, right?
The old tabard pub. Oh. There's nobody at home. That is not the door for the old tabard pub. I guess it's on this side? Wait, wasn't I just here? Son of a dick. Oh, no. Lucky's bar. Wait, how the dick do I get in there? Hi, buddy. Aww. Hmm. Okay. Oh, pub this way. Okay. Over here. There we go. I was confuzzled. But we're good now. I need to What's up, everybody? To find oh. out who is offering this special job. Hmm. Yo, dog. No? That's fine. What about you? Yo, dog. Oh. There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. I have to eavesdrop. What about from here? Huh? No? That's cool. What about from here? The child labor law sent your kids what to about school from instead here? of the coal mine. Here? There's no one to eavesdrop on from here. Yeah, I agree. Oh, here? Is this not obvious? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here inconspicuously. Zone in on this. Oh. What? What? Oh, I see. Oh, this is weird. No, no, no. That fellow who's offering the special jobs, he never drinks alcohol. Uh, okay. Again, super inconspicuous. The man who's offering that special job has a proper set of mutton chop whiskers. Man, everybody's talking about this motherfucker. What about these guys? Hey, buddies. Tell me some deets. Whisper those sweet nothings right in my ear balls. Give it to me. Equality for the working class. I'm glad I'm my own boss. I can complain only to myself. Or to Watson. Do we so, have all the, the man deets I'm now? Looking for has whiskers and never drinks alcohol. Dude looks like he's got a drink. Bosses beware. When we're screwed, we multiply. Oh. Confused. Just drinking water. Oh, my observation's complete. All right, great. This must be the man that I'm looking for. Let's just keep an eye on him. It's not weird. Hold Q to skip time. But then we're not keeping an eye on him. Drawing his picture in our little notebook. So we can always remember his face. That sweet, sweet face. Maybe it is hay fever. I can't remember the last time that I sneezed that hard. I mean, it is that time of year after all. But isn't the rain supposed to, like, make it so that allergens stay on the ground, you know? Like, the balcony's pretty high up. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be paying attention to this guy. What's he doing over there? Do you think he's lonely? Yeah, he probably does this all the time. It's 
Disney isn't lonely, though. <gasps> that cover was blown for a second. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, you ripped down a missing persons poster. Poor K. Because you are the reason he's missing, madam. Watson, I've got a clue. Interesting. A missing person. I should find out more. At the start of October, Mr. John Strowbridge went missing from Dorset Street under mysterious circumstances. If you have any information, please contact Mrs. Strowbridge at 5 Dorset Street. Thank you in advance for any information or help. No problem, girl. Girl, don't even. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> 